Everything you see around us is known as the Bannock Ghost Town, which essentially this is like a mini Bodhi, except you could go inside of all the buildings. In today's episode, we're in Montana to explore the ghost town of Bannock, which stands as a testament to the boom-bust cycles of the American West. Backed into a rugged corner of southwestern Montana, Bannock was founded in 1862 when prospectors struck gold along Grasshopper Creek. This discovery ignited a rush that turned the once remote area into a bustling mining town, attracting fortune seekers, merchants, and adventurers from across the country. At its peak, Bannock boasted nearly 10,000 residents with saloons, hotels, and general stores lining its main street. It even had the distinction of being Montana's first territorial capital in 1864. Bannock's story isn't just one of prosperity. The town became famous for its high murder rate with bodies often discovered on the outskirts of town. Miners traveling with gold were frequent targets of robbery, murder, and law enforcement was scarce. Adding to the chaos was Henry Plummer, Bannock's notorious sheriff. While publicly tasked with maintaining law and order, Plummer secretly led a ruthless gang of outlaws known as the Innocents. The group terrorized the region, ambushing miners, stealing gold shipments, and leaving a trail of blood and fear. Plummer himself was said to have orchestrated the murders of those who resisted, ensuring no witnesses were left. Unchecked crime and Innocents' reign of terror pushed the town folk to their breaking point. A visual anti group formed in 1864, capturing and swiftly executing Plummer and his top men. Plummer's last words protesting his innocence only deepened the mystery surrounding his true role in the gang's crimes. His hanging brought a resemblance of order, but Bannock's dark reputation persisted. Shootings over gambling debts, drunken fights that turned fatal, and unsolved disappearances became part of the town's grim folklore, casting a shadow over its golden past. As the gold dwindled, so did Bannock's population. By the mid-20th century, the town was largely abandoned. Today, Bannock is a ghost town and state park, offering a glimpse into the past with its well-preserved buildings and rich storytelling. Join us as we explore the rise, fall, and enduring legacy of Bannock, Montana, a true gem of the American West. So I'm thinking I'm going to check out the buildings to the left of us, beginning with the house, which is quite interesting looking. Check that out. This is a really neat place because it's a ghost town. It's an old mining town, yet it's been fixed up by the Forest Service. And all of these houses are just open for exploration pretty much, you know? You could just go in them, look around. That was the bathroom right there. This one's completely gutted, but there's some buildings with a bunch of stuff. The hotel here is famous. So that's really what we're trying to find. They have two doors here. That's interesting, right by each other. I think this was walled off at one time, looks like it. Yeah, you could kind of see where it was walled off there and against that. But just looking around, it's really insane to see. Right out the front door. Wow. So now we're done with this one. I came right at 8 a.m., but check this out. Then you got all the photos, the flash flood in 2013. You could pause and read that if you want. On to the, I wonder if this is like a general store. I like this and there's nobody else around. No visitors anyway, there's workers, but that's it. So that's a neat building. Then, the brick one, hopefully we could get into that. That'd be cool. All these houses behind too. We'll have to hit those up, but look at that. And just looking back behind. And then, 
A lot of chimneys on it. Looking at the roof. Going in. It's really insane. Is this like a courthouse maybe? No, it's locked. No. It's open. Oh, and look at the stairs. How oh, they just they're kind of spiral. How oh, they go up. Old piano. Oh, that was, this was the safe. Check that out. Okay, so someone's working on the roof right now. Then, miss this room. Old table. And it has such a reverberation in here. You're going out the window. Oh yeah, look at They're working on it. Look, all the old kitchen, that, that looks new. I don't know what that's about, the deep fryer, but. Yeah, this was the kitchen over here. I wonder, this may have been the hotel, the one everybody talks about. I like the glass window up top. It's going up. The stairway now. That's, this one's locked up. Wonder if this is gonna be the same. Yeah, right there. And this room, we already looked at that room cause that's, oh wow. Look, you could put stuff up there. They probably had plants or something in those lines. That'd be neat. Inside. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing pretty good. It's like a mini Bodhi here. It is, but Bodhi, you don't go inside. Yeah, I know. I'll be back down that way by nine to open the visitor center.
Oh, wow. I missed that. That's another safe. So the other safe is right here in the other room. This one's in the front. Keep going to the left of us before looping back. Here's another one. It's pretty interesting. Check that out. That's what we we're just in. Yeah, right there. Hotel Mead. But then, this was the saloon. Here's the bar itself. Oh, it's an international? Interesting. Just an old pickup truck. Of course, it's been all maintained and this whole place has been maintained. Here's a storage room. There's tons of wagon wheels, that's really neat. Check these out. Wood wagon wheels. So that's cool, this was just a small shed. And next to it was their home. You could walk right in. Let's see. Yeah, opens up. It's empty. Some cupboards here. I think a lot of these buildings are gonna be empty for the most part, but they're really neat. Big closet, that's unique. Some sort of underground storage. Maybe it was dynamite, I wonder. Because they had electricity. Check it out. I really underestimated the size of this ghost town. Because I'm on top of the hill right now. And we just looked at these houses. So everything from here over to there is what we've seen. And as I was looking over the hill, it keeps going. There's even more. We've made it into the cemetery. It's super old, so there's not a lot left. Tons of headstones. I didn't notice all those ones. Got fences around. One last headstone, 1852. Just a bunch of graves, no headstones or anything. It's such an old spot. This is a pioneer cemetery. Up to the next cabin. Check it out. It's a two room cabin, closet space, very small entry. And this one, once again, is halfway through the ground. You can see the hillside right on it. Walls are beginning to buckle, that's not too good. 
in an additional space just carved out underground. I do not like that sound, but that's another storage. A wagon. Had a seat up top, a bench. Just another small workshop. It opens up, so you kind of have a foyer area going in. To all the neat areas. I like how when you walk, all the wood begins to creak. Tons of seats. Oh, that's an old piano. That's cool. Please do not touch, thank you. All right, I won't touch it. We've seen the church, really awesome. This is one of the buildings I wanted to see. I forgot about it until now. Another pantry. And then a bedroom. I like the wagon. This one's not in the greatest of condition, but still very neat to see. Now, let's see if this one's open. Very neat. See what this is. I actually don't know. Because we're kind of leaving the housing section right now. We're getting back into business route. Yeah, this was a house. I'm surprised they let you do this, but that's Montana. You know, it's not California or Idaho or any of these states where you got a billion lawyers and they have to watch out because there's a huge asshole right there. Look at that. What's up to the church? See, that's the ore carts. I have yet to find a ore cart in any abandoned mines I've been. Uh, and I've been to quite a few abandoned mines, still haven't found any.
this was the jail. Oh yeah, look. You got where the inmates would go. It's a big thick door. Grass is growing on top. Looks like it's open. If you go inside, oh, whoa, look at this stairway. It's a narrow one. I wonder if this was a hotel. It looks a lot industrial, especially this kitchen. Right across from the old courthouse, which was made into a hotel. And once we leave that, go up these stairs, which looks pretty crazy because they're extremely narrow and that's pretty common in a lot of these older houses, but it's interesting to see definitely. Going small room. I didn't realize I accidentally filmed some people leaving the courthouse. <laughs> Yeah, 43, number 43 here. Can't have 43 rooms though. You know, it's not that big. Another room going back down. I like how it wraps around. This is interesting, because I'm curious. It says antique merry-go-round, use at your, oh, that's what it is. Look at that, old ass merry-go-round. That's crazy. And then, does it open? It opens. Oh, this is a schoolhouse. That's what this is. Well, that's so cool. I like that. Math test. What year Montana became? I don't know, man. I'm not from freaking Montana. I'm from California. She can't say that in Montana. They don't like Californians. They have a little museum up here. Oh, wow. Hey, look, a river. I didn't know they had a river running through here. I knew they had water because of all the trees, but I didn't see that. It's like a mini courthouse. Going off, see, I'm pretty sure that's the first house we've seen that I started filming at 8 a.m. So we've seen all of this, just an insanely huge ghost town. Going in. Oh, whoa. It's in good condition. 
Travel a stove, cooktop, the furnace going through. Right in, got all left behind, the piano. Nice piano. A sewing machine. That's really neat. It's neat to see how fixed up this is. We didn't even look. Painkillers. So this is all antiques. Real old stuff. Autumn leaf extract. Look at those old bottles. I like this one. Kind of gives an idea. You know, all those other houses were empty and we could kind of get a look at what they may have looked like. Into the bedroom. Look at the stroller, that thing is freaking old. That's out to the back. So we'll close this all up, lock it up. And then continuing, it looks unlocked, it looks open. I like this wood. Now, what do you think this was about? The wallpaper, all real old, corny looking. Hey, it's not my cup of tea. Maybe it's some people's cup of tea. Nice windows, that is so cool. Look at all that closet space. We didn't see this yet. We should probably look at it before we get going. Unless it's locked up. Doesn't look like it. Into this house. Yellow, who decided on that paint scheme? Hey. I like that fireplace. That's pretty epic looking. Get 
Okay, so now we're gonna be crossing over to the other side, which actually doesn't have that much to see because that's, an, that's the park office. So use that as the park office now. And then this building is the visitor center, which means this might actually be the very last one we have to go inside. This is all locked up, so there's three small sheds. I'm not gonna look at them. You could see there's a, there's a pickup truck, cause that's all park storage and whatnot. These are old buildings and they basically use an old building for the visitor center and the park office, that's the park office. It's just one of the old ghost town houses. That's now the office. Entry. And if you remember at the very beginning of the video, that's the first house we looked at. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a house. I've seen so much at this point. I'm ready to get going. I had a lot of fun. This was a 10 out of 10 ghost town by all means, but we're done.